Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to Topic 3.7.2, Populations from the AQA A-Level Biology Specification. As always, let's start with a look at our specification, which, for this part, is relatively straightforward. We should know that species exist as one or more populations. We should be able to define a population as a group of organisms of the same species occupying a particular space at a particular time that can potentially interbreed. We need to know the concepts of gene pool and allele frequency. We also need to know about the Hardy-Weinberg principle and how it provides a mathematical model which predicts that allele frequencies will not change from generation to generation. We need to know the conditions under which the principle applies. Finally, we need to be able to calculate the frequency of alleles, genotypes and phenotypes in a population using the Hardy-Weinberg equation. So let's make a start. Species exist as one or more populations. A population is a group of organisms of the same species occupying a particular space at a particular time that can potentially interbreed. The gene pool is the complete range of alleles present in a population. The allele frequency is how often an allele occurs in a population and is given as a decimal or a percentage. The Hardy-Weinberg principle provides a mathematical model which predicts that allele frequencies will not change from generation to generation. For the Hardy-Weinberg principle, we need to learn two equations. p plus q equals 1 and p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. We use the first equation in order to calculate allele frequencies and the second equation is used to calculate the frequency of individuals. In these equations, P represents the frequency of the dominant allele, and Q the frequency of the recessive one. Note that P and Q are often used to represent the dominant and recessive alleles, but could just represent two alleles that are co-dominant. So, in the first equation, if we calculate P, this will give us the proportion of the dominant alleles in a population, and if we calculate Q, this will give us the proportion of recessive alleles in a population. The same principle applies for the frequency of individuals. If we calculate p squared, this will give us the proportion of individuals with a homozygous dominant genotype. If we calculate 2pq, this will give us the proportion of individuals with a heterozygous genotype. And if we calculate q squared, this will give us the proportion of individuals with a homozygous recessive genotype. So let's have a look at an example of a question involving the Hardy-Weinberg equation. Gene F codes for type of earlobe. The dominant allele, uppercase F, codes for free earlobes, and the recessive allele, lowercase f, codes for attached earlobes. There are 2,500 individuals in a population, 26% of which have attached earlobes. So how many individuals are heterozygous? Note that the recessive trait is the only one where you can tell its genotype from its phenotype, i.e. the type of earlobe, so we need to start with this. Let's start with our two equations. The question is asking us to calculate how many individuals are heterozygous. Therefore, we need to use the second equation, as the question is about the frequency of individuals, and we want to find 2pq. So we know what proportion of individuals have attached earlobes. This is 26%, or 0.26. Attached earlobes are coded for by the recessive allele, lowercase f. Therefore, to have attached earlobes, you must have a homozygous recessive genotype. So we know that q squared equals 0.26. Therefore, q on its own equals the square root of 0.26, which is 0.509. Note that you can use figures from one equation and insert it into the other. So if we know q, now we can calculate p using the equation above. p plus q equals 1, so p equals 1 minus q if we rearrange the equation. Q equals 0.509, as we have just calculated, so 1 minus 0.509 equals 0.491. We want to find how many individuals are heterozygous, i.e. what 2PQ is. P equals 0.491 and Q equals 0.509. Therefore, 2PQ equals 2 times 0.491 times 0.509, giving us 0.5. So we have just calculated the proportion of individuals that are heterozygous. We can now multiply this figure by the number of individuals in the population to give us the exact number of individuals that are heterozygous. So we do 0.5 times 2,500, giving us 1,250 individuals that are heterozygous. 
Finally, what is the Hardy-Weinberg equation used for? It is used to see whether the frequency of alleles within a population is changing, i.e. is there a selection pressure acting on the population and is evolution occurring? This is because, by the Hardy-Weinberg equation, we can calculate the frequency of each allele in a population. Note that the Hardy-Weinberg principle predicts that allele frequencies will not change from generation to generation. This only assumes the following criteria are met, which is not the case in real life. It assumes that there is no natural selection, meaning that all genotypes give individuals an equal chance of surviving and reproducing. It also assumes that there is no gene flow, i.e. no IMI or emigration, which could introduce new genes or alter existing gene frequencies in the population. We assume that the population is large, as in a small population genetic drift has a very large impact because each individual makes up a greater proportion of the population. Note that genetic drift is the concept that allele frequencies in a population also occur due to chance, for example, because not every individual in the population will have offspring or the same number of offspring. Genetic drift will be covered in more detail in the following topic, 3.7.3, which is all about how evolution may lead to speciation. The Hardy-Weinberg principle also assumes that no mutations occur, so no new alleles are created. And finally, it assumes that mating is random because if individuals are selective, allele frequencies are altered. Great, that would be populations covered. We have covered how species exist as one or more populations and how a population can be defined as a group of organisms of the same species occupying a particular space at a particular time that can potentially interbreed. We have also covered the concepts of gene pool and allele frequency, as well as the Hardy-Weinberg principle and how it provides a mathematical model which predicts that allele frequencies will not change from generation to generation. We have also covered the conditions under which the principle applies and how we might be able to calculate the frequency of alleles, genotypes and phenotypes in a population using the Hardy-Weinberg equation. That would be it for now guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe, comment, next time we will be covering how evolution may lead to speciation.